We are going to be doing a two-part series here starting tonight here on LunchBot. If you are getting your LunchBot set up, this is included in the two-week free trial. So this is important for you to know how to get set up here. So we're going to divide this into two parts. And tomorrow we'll be doing part two, nitty-gritty details on optimizations and extra details and performance, etc. But I will show you the highlights on how to get that going here. Let's get into LunchBot here tonight. And I think you guys are going to like how to get this set up. Here's 4,500. 1900 2500 and 2700 over the last two weeks let's get into those here tonight let's do this control center window so you're going to want to start right here if you are getting your lunch bot set up come right in here if you have just installed this two-week free trial or you're one of our members and you want to get your lunch bot set up this is the default remember i always tell you like take the default but go and rename it so one of the first steps that you should do is rename your own because if you make any changes or any updates or any things or any of that kind of stuff that you want to keep whether it's colors etc again i don't recommend that you guys adjust too many colors i really want everybody to kind of stay the same so you guys can support one another and not be confused and all that have lots of reasons around the psychology around keeping the same colors but let's say if you made some changes your own so uh say your name is jane all right so call us uh jane's lunch bot all right and 1080p that just tells me kind of what the screen set up and all that is you don't have to do that but uh so this is we are going to overwrite this every time we release so if we do an update be careful we are going to overwrite this name again why it's important for you to go ahead and rename yours as your first step okay so, uh, but this is the default workspace. If you wanna get yours to launch, go right here. And we walked through in the previous video how to add these strategies to your chart, but your chart might be blank. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from this one just so you'll see what that looks like. Now, if you wanna to go to any given chart, just right click. Okay, you're gonna get this big menu here, and we're gonna be looking for strategies right there. Okay, so under strategies, this is gonna pop up the list here. Here's Lunchbot. I'm gonna go remove it just so you know what that looks like. So your chart, when you first, your chart may look like this without the text up here at the top. So if you wanna add that, right click, go to strategies, and I'm going to select, in this case, LunchBot. Full auto, all the defaults should be fine for, for most folks. Again, we'll get into more details on all of that tomorrow. Again, really just want this to be the quick start guide here tonight. I'm gonna to enable this, bam. So this is what yours should look like after you've got LunchBot going, okay? So um, LunchBot to get your charts, step one, go to your workspaces. Here's how you get to LunchBot. Then I would say save as, if you don't know how to do that, right? So I'm going to save as, and I'm going to call this Vinny's LunchBot. All right, there we go. So now my workspace is called Vinny's LunchBot. Way down here, but you guys get the, get the gist on that, okay? So I've renamed my workspace. We can save that, so if I close out, that's what it's going to be on, okay? Now, I am on the Strategies tab in my control panel. You need to become very familiar with how to do this. Again, if you're new to strategies or full auto systems, this is how NinjaTrader operates right here on the Strategies tab. So I'm on the Strategies tab. That is what's showing me these strategies. Now, there is a line here for each of the strategies that are open per instrument right now. Again, it can be more complex if you've got additional strategies per instrument, but in, the idea here should be you should have one line per instrument that you're running on. Okay. Now, out of the box default, we are running across four instruments. Now, this is not the recommended. Our recommended is to run seven or eight instruments, again, to the diversification of robotic systems, which is what we teach in our trainings. And we'll go again more into that in part two but here is the default stuff there's your four if you want to enable all of those strategies you're going to need to go to each of the charts and add these in, add these strategies because they will not come out of the box already on your system okay so you're going to need to add it to each one basically just what we did over there add 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 now these are all enabled this is what it would look like if they were not so what i'm doing here i'm selecting all this area, you can hit Control A or hit Shift and select. You guys know how to select. You guys probably been all use computers. I can right click all of them and disable. Okay, so this is what your uh, workspace will look like when it comes right out of the box without the, these strategies enabled. Okay, if you want to turn them on again, uh, you, I can select an individual one, turn it on. So there we go. I've just turned on RTY by itself. Here we go. I trade ES, turn that on. Or if I want to do all of them at once, which is what I usually do, Control A, right click enable okay boom and they're good to go now some of the details on these so you're going okay well how what are the other things i absolutely have to have what do you you must go to your windows clock change your windows clock to eastern standard time 
Not an option. You cannot be like, well, Vinny, I think I'm going to do this. Listen, you're going to break the system. You are going to be broken if you don't do this. Uh, just trust me. It's how we it's how we coded this thing. It's how we launched it in. All of the safety precautions, all of the settings, all the parameter tweaks and all that are designed to run in Eastern time during the lunch hour. So must do that. Go and do that if you haven't done it already. Again, all of your clocks in your workspace, if you've been through our program, training program, I tell everybody we're all speaking in Eastern Standard Time. So there's never a question of like, well, is that my time? Is that your time? It's always in our room, always Eastern Standard Time. Very, very important for LunchBot. Absolute requirement. Okay. Now, uh, last few things here on the quick start guide. So that should be it. This is what you do. You can enable this early morning if you're going to be running LunchBot or you can set yourself a little timer. It says, hey, you know, it's around 11 o'clock. I'll go ahead and turn this on. This thing will automatically start taking its trades at the proper location, proper times when the setups occur. Now, some of the notes that you'll want to be looking at, I'm going to full screen one of these here. So here's so things to note, 50K account size. Now you might be wondering, whoa, like, why, why do I need 50K? So this is our recommended. Remember everything that's here, this is recommended. 50K to run across seven or eight instruments is the ideal. Remember the ideal. Now you can adjust if you're going to trade this on micros, all kinds of things. It's really up to you. This is the danger of, you know, I'm handing you a loaded gun. Okay. It's, it's very, very handy, but you also, you know, you have to be in control of, you know, how, how things work. And I definitely recommend playing with this in SIM before you go into any live scenario, um, et cetera. Okay. So 50K is um, suggested across seven or eight instruments, right? Set your PC clock to Eastern. We already talked about that range and algo bar ones only. Now this is again, recommended ideal for getting quick stuff. However, I'm going to teach you guys tomorrow how to supersede this to get better, um, better performance using optimization techniques. If you're familiar with optimizations, you should already know how to do this. Again, Ninja Trader, I think has some stuff on this, but I, in my opinion, their stuff can be a little bit confusing. Uh, no knock on them. I just think that there are easier ways to teach it. So we'll try to go through some of that tomorrow in part two. Okay. Uh, not for use on FOMC, you know, FOMC day or around FOMC the day before, day after the day of FOMC, be very careful on FOMC days. And we announce those in the room. All right. And of course, make a note there on trade at your own risk. Okay. And uh, let's uh, take a peek at a couple other things here that you need to know. Um, and then we'll be, we'll be wrapping that up here. So up here at the top left-hand corner, um, this is a quick peek at the PL um, for the date range that you currently are on for the instrument. Okay, so what does that mean? If I right click on any instrument, I go to data series, this will tell me how many days of data that I'm running. In general, I, I have this set to by default two weeks because I want to see like, okay, how have the last two weeks done here? So this is 14 days of performance from a PL perspective only right here looking up at the top left hand corner of the screen. Okay, so $4,500. Um, we're already 4,600 there for NASDAQ over the last two weeks. Top left here, that's 2,700. Here's 2,500 and here's 19. So that's 2,000, that's 4,500. And that is 7,000, 11, 12-ish. We'll call it 12 to $13,000 over the last 14 days. Almost $1,000 a day on average for the current market conditions with the extra volatility that we've got going on. So keep that in mind. Now, other things you may want to look at. So there's there's more details here. Uh, top right, there are things like um, the, the number of winners in a row. There's the quantity that we're currently about to run on and execute on. Again, we'll go into a lot of details on this tomorrow night on these, but these are eh, a little less important. But if you want to know where we currently are, what the next execution is going to be. So for instance, this one up here, this one, the next quantity it's about to run is going to be four contracts that it will run on RTY. So some, you know, spot information that you can get right there on the corners of the screen. We'll talk more details on that tomorrow. One of the things you want to know here tonight is how do I look at the details of the PL, right? So main thing is like right, results matter. That's what we care about. So let's look at the results, right? Click on any chart, go up here to strategy performance, right? And then you're going to click on the lunch bot that is currently the only one that's on it, right? But uh, should be pretty straightforward. Now, there are several options here. Real, historical, real-time, and historical. In general, you want to do real-time and historical to see over time. But again, you can play with these. We'll go into, again, more detail on that tomorrow evening. But for right now, let's go to strategy performance right here. And let's take a peek. Oh, let's look at the bigger one, 4,500. Let's look at these numbers internally to see, you know, drawdowns and all of that. Uh, real-time and historical. Let's bring this over. 
because again, P and L is not is not not the whole story. So this is this is really the whole picture and the whole story here, right? Um, let's look. So to get that forty five hundred, what were our commissions? So five hundred dollars in commissions. What's our profit factor? Again, we always focus on you know this is a big deal for our cyborg trading uh, manually. Two point five three, excellent, and eighty percent profitable over. And there's your time period now. Okay, these are good stats and max drawdown, great. Okay, but what about, can we look at a chart? These are pretty handy things that we wanna look at here. I'll hit the drop down here and let's go into analysis, right? Oh, it's a nice nice looking curve here over the last few weeks. Um, and again, lots of details that you can get into. We'll go through a whole lot of these here tomorrow night, but I just wanna show you guys how to get into those. You can hit the drop down here. Um, look at your your max drawdown. What day did that occur? Okay, there was our max drawdown. What was it? There was our eight hundred dollar drawdown on looks like around the seventeenth. Um, was the biggest drawdown? Lots of details you can get out of those. And I'm keeping this video short here, right there at about ten or fifteen minutes. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. This is how you load up LunchBot, and hope you guys can join join us. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. For me, Pippi, Robbie, LunchBot, Mod Squad, Curtis, G, and the rest of the gang. Let's another big H town. See ya!